you will not be disappointed with this beauty. This thing is either something that's straight out of A-Team or like my good friend Chris said, the zombie apocalypse machine right here, my man. This thing is on the diesel 4x4 chassis. It's lifted, it's ready to go anywhere you want to take it. But as we know, a good tour always starts on the inside. So let's take a look at the beauty. Now, if you're not familiar with a Class B, right, or a Class B van, what is it about the Class B that appeals to so many people, right? The, you might see the van life. Well, it's gonna be a number of things, but one of them is just the ability to get anywhere you wanna go. I mean, if, as I stand at, the, at this thing, I mean, take a look at how high just the initial step is, right? Like, it is lifted. If you're looking to take something and you wanna go, you know, where tra or the path that's a little less traveled, Traveled, right? This one right here will get you there. And we're talking four by four. It has a low gear. I'll show you that in just a minute, but it will get you to that destination. And with the class B, it's going to be the easiest of the motorhome classes to drive. Now, don't get me wrong. I've driven just about everything and I love a good diesel pusher. You can drive it with two fingers, but this thing right here is just like driving your everyday vehicle. Now, as we take a step inside, right, we'll take a look at the, the cockpit to start. Uh, this one is on the new Mercedes chassis. Now, uh, a couple big upgrades here. One of them is going to be this central dash. Now, I don't currently have the coach on, but uh, it is an excellent dash. It has um, like a voice activation too. Uh, you can say, hey, Mercedes, and it pops on kind of like it would like a Siri, right? Uh, and it can you know use navigation right through that. Like, hey, Mercedes, take me to the nearest McDonald's. And, and it will do exactly what you want it to do. Um, so I do love some of those features. A ton of safety features on here as well, uh, just to, you know for, for um, helping prevent any kind of collision, giving you some lane departure warnings, things like that. Uh, touch to start, which is something that, you know, I know it seems silly. We've seen it in automobiles forever, but really just hasn't made its way to the RV market until this newer Mercedes chassis. Plenty of cup holders here as well. We talked about four-wheel drive, and as I mentioned, you'll see that uh, located here. And then this little button is actually your low gear, so you will uh, hit that uh, to drop down into four-wheel low, uh, just to give you that extra torque if it is needed. Because this is the Mercedes, it is a diesel chassis, meaning you're gonna get excellent fuel economy in here and uh, you get the name behind it, right? If everyone knows a Mercedes and I've had so many people, it, it always makes me laugh, uh, when they come to, to buy an RV and they, they end up getting a B van and they get the Mercedes and they go, you know, I've always said I wanted a Mercedes. I just never thought it was gonna be an RV. But but that's what it is, right? That, that name uh, means something and you get the durability and the build that goes with that. Uh, another thing that I like, and it's kind of some of those minor touches sometimes, but they added in, you know, this nice kind of uh, woven carpet here at the floor. It just makes it feel a little more residential and a little less, uh, you know, like a, like a Sprinter work van. So I do like that small touch. Uh, because this is a class B van, both these seats do swivel around as well. So, you know, if you want to, um, you know, this guy at least does. So if you want to utilize that, you can swivel it around and be able to, uh, you know, enjoy this. It's not cut off from the rest of the RV. You also have some storage spaces right up top there. Nice big windshield on here too. Uh, and something that's <laughs> actually really cool, this, we'll, we'll get to it when we get outside, but there is a huge spotlight on this thing where if there's a zombie that, you know, is 300 feet away and you need to see it, you'll probably see it with the spotlight. But as we make our way in a little bit further, uh, one of the things I really love about this layout and this floor plan is this right here, right? I'm sitting here cooking, I'm you know washing dishes, doing whatever I'm doing, and I can enjoy the most beautiful view out the side. Because this is a class B, it's so small, this thing is under 20 foot long. I can drive this uh, to, a, to a beach, open it up and enjoy the view, and I can sit here you know, cook up some some bacon or a hamburger or whatever else I want to cook on here, whatever I'm in the mood for. Heck, if I want, I'll microwave some chips and cheese. I, I don't know. But the fact that I can sit here and just and really enjoy this view, I love. So I, I like that the door opens up right here and you get this countertop space. Now, there's a drop down table and some storage. I'll show you that in a little bit. Uh, but first, I just kind of want to round out the kitchen. Um, I'll open up the, uh, the Norcold fridge here for you. Uh, let me get my butt out of the way. So you can uh, take a peek in there and you can see that you have plenty of storage, drop down compartment right here for your little uh, freezer right up top there. But you know, pretty good size all in all. You'll see they do have a couple different floor plans. This is the 19P where you have the sofa in the back. If you want, you can also get one that's a fixed bed configuration. It'll be more like a full size bed. Uh, if we drop down underneath the fridge, you can take a look and you will see some uh, easy, easily accessible components for any kind of 
uh, maintenance work that you have to do. Uh, one of the big ones will be your water pump. It's always a good thing to know where your water pump is, uh, whether it's for winterization or if it is for uh, you know, just replacement. You'll see that is very easily accessible and you will see the water filter on there too, which I love that it comes with it. So again, you know, if you are somewhere where it may not have perfect water, which is in all honesty, more places than not, uh, that filter will certainly help. And then right up top, again, if I'm making chips and cheese, that's the place I'm gonna do it. Nice big vent fan right up here to help get all those smells out. The bathroom, this is always one, especially if you're new to a class B, people just may not fully understand. Um, and so let me kind of show you the bathroom in here. And this is very common in a lot of class B vans as well as uh, truck campers or slide-in campers that go in the back of a pickup. That's what they call a wet bath. And a wet bath is an all-in-one, right? It is your toilet, it is your shower, it is, in my mind, efficiency. <laughs> but that being said, um, you know, I'll, I'll take a seat in here just to kind of show you. So as you can see, it, it's not the biggest space ever. And then that's, that's not uncommon in a class B. This is a, a very common space to have. But what I do like that they did is if you take a look right up top, you will see that the magnet, right, when this door is closed, closes right here. And you know, I'll kind of show you with this door, right? And that gives you a decent amount of space to be able to walk by. But if you're in here and you want a little more space, it actually locks open like that. And it just gives you that, that little extra bit. And when you're talking about wet baths like this and it is a smaller space, you know, just that like extra inch that you get really does make a difference and lets you maneuver a little bit easier. You also see a rod that's built in. So uh, a lot of people in a van may not use the shower. That again, not uncommon, but a lot of people will put up a rod for clothes and that's exactly what you have here. Uh, toilet of course is right down underneath me. You will see a medicine cabinet, a fan in there for obvious reasons drop down sink. You'll have the faucet that swings over and around. And then we have our hand wand here, which will actually rest right up there. And of course, the shower curtain that will go around if you do decide uh, that you want to take a shower in here. Now, as we move in a little bit further, we'll make our way to the back. Well, I guess I'll, I'll show you this. You do get the, the JBL um, Bluetooth speaker here. So, you know, the cool thing about this too is you can take it outside if you want or you can leave it right there. You'll get your touchscreen panel. This is super easy to read as well as operate. You know, you can see all of your tank levels, uh, tank heaters, that's a big one. If you're looking to do a little bit of cold weather camping, I know that's uh, a question I get a lot on Class B vans because a lot of them just don't have the capability, but more and more people are starting to pick up on that, which is why they put the uh, tank heaters here in the sanctuary. But everything you need to access will be uh, right here at this panel, super simple. Um, if we look at uh, electric, uh, I guess it doesn't show it on here. Actually, I think there's a, the controller is down below, but this one does have a 190 watt solar panel on there as well. And the controller will be right at the entrance, right next to the battery disconnect. So you can see that uh, solar controller there. So if you are, you know, getting out, um, you know, you, you have the ability to recharge the battery. Dropping down, you'll see storage. Take a look at that. This right here is of course your sink top cover. Uh, you'll see the, the filter right there that it comes with, but excellent storage. For being a, a Class B, I mean, that's big storage right there. I absolutely love that they were able to fit all of that in. And as we make our way to the back here, um, see if I can, sorry about that. Let me get you here, Fritz, there you go, buddy. Uh, as we make our way to the back, you will see all the additional storage. So, you know, right here, uh, I probably can't get in there. It's, it's tough when you have two big people, as you know, my good friend Chris said. I mean, we basically have an NBA player in here. Uh, but you know, right over here is a wardrobe as well as an adjustable shelf. You'll see the techno form cabinets that they have. I love the fact that it's kind of like a gloss up top, a mat down below, and it's curved, which really adds a lot of appeal. Hidden hinges right in there. You'll see there's a TV right over here. Uh, you have the side sofas and the the uh, rear sofa. And as I mentioned, this one does drop down into a bed. You'll also see roller shades here. And of course, more storage. I mean, you know, they did a really good job. Right up there is your Truma control. This one does have the Truma combi unit on it for um, your water heater as well as your furnace, really simplifying things. AC unit right up top, plenty of LED lights in here as well. But when we go to the outside, I mean, again, you know, I love the inside. I love that uh, you have the, the space, how bright it is. It really lets you get out. But where I think this thing really sets itself apart is out here, if nothing else, just purely on aesthetics. This thing just looks awesome. Um, but this is a drop-down table, if you so want. Also has electrical outlet and USB ports there. Little bit of storage right under here, if I can pop that one up. 
and you'll see that you have a net right underneath there. That nice big step, which helps you get into the RV again because it is four by four chassis, and you will see that that is lifted. Right up top, you will notice the power awning. That is a Thule awning with an LED light there. Uh, this one also, speaking of Thule, you can see it right around the back. It also has the bike rack here and the ladder. So if I open up the back, if you do open it, please make sure you don't hit yourself with the bike rack. But as we open that up, you will see right back here is the uh, retractable ladder. So you can take that out, it actually has a magnet. Really neat thing about that is you can mount it basically anywhere on this uh, RV to be able to access anything up on the roof, which is pretty great. Right down underneath here, we have our hitch, 5,000 pound hitch. You'll see your seven way plug. So if you need to tow anything behind here, again, I've seen a lot of people with class B's that will tow another trailer behind them uh, because you know maybe the, the whole family wants to go camping. So they tow you know, like a small little travel trailer behind them, maybe something like that illumination that we saw earlier, you'd be able to tow it behind here no problem and be good to go. Coming around to the off camp side, again, you can see the lift on there and the nice off-road tires, super rugged. Absolutely love it. Uh, one of the cool things I want to show you, uh, well, adjustable seats, but come up to the front a second here. Let me show you this. Try not to get blinded, but I talked earlier about the spotlight. Take a look at that thing. Flip that guy on. It is super, oh, is it not on? Well, what did I do? All right, I must have turned the coach off, but there's a really bright spotlight up there too. Uh, just really, really helps this thing uh, really set the sanctuary apart. So if you're looking for a class B where, you know, it's not necessarily something that you're going to take from one side of the US to the other, even though you could, but you're looking for something to do a little more off-roading, right? Looking to do an Alaska trip or looking to do something, just taking that uh, path less traveled, the sanctuary right here is an excellent one for you.